Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Brew. This will probably be a short one. <laughs> Who am I kidding? So today I'm going to be tasting the Field to, field to Ferment Fresh Pale Ale, Fresh Hop. The Field to Ferment Fresh Hop Pale Ale by Fremont Brewing out of Seattle. Um, poured from a tap at Northwest Beer Works in Lacey, Washington. Olympia, Washington. Somewhere. It's where the cities do this. Anyways, this is my first fresh hop beer. This is not my first tasting of it. This is just the first fresh hop beer I've ever had. Not an IPA, just a regular old PA. Um, nothing wrong with PAs. PAs are very good. And this is one of those. So obviously, since it's been in the growler for a little bit, there isn't quite so much head, but I'm sure the head will come back if you shake it. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it's dark gold, maybe a touch of red, but still, it's just a, it's a real strong, like, golden color. Very, very pretty. You can already smell the, the fruity floral notes off of this. That's just, just from the nose, just without even sticking my nose in it. It's, it smells, um, bountiful. Uh, green fields. So typically speaking, 99.99% of the hops used in beers are kilned. That is, they have been dried in an oven very quickly after harvesting because hops are plants. They're, they're very fresh, they're very delicate, and the oils that produce all the flavors we want, or that the, the chemical compounds that produce all the flavors we want in beer, fade very quickly in um, when they're not, well, if they're left in their fresh state. So just like mowing your grass and setting up a pile of grass, it turns from fresh cut grass smelling to old grass smell in hours. The same is true of hops. So you will find right now in September, this is the hop harvesting season. And so you will only find fresh hop beers now. And these beers that are, these are beers that are particularly it is particularly important to drink them fresh because those same flavor compounds will continue to break down as the beer ages. Um, so if you find some, drink them quickly. Uh, in September, look for your local breweries, your local tap rooms, uh, brew pubs, and ask them what fresh hop beers they have in, and uh, you'll probably be lucky. Um, so let's uh, let's dive in here. There's um, there's some tropical note to this, and um, there's definitely a tropical note to this. Being a pale ale, it is less strongly hopped than an India pale ale, of course. Um, uh, pale ale just means it is a pale malt that is made into an ale, and typically speaking, the style is moderately hopped. And then the India pale ales are the strongly hopped brothers of, or sisters, whatever, cousins, of the pale ale. Uh, not cousins, they are the same major style. Um, and so you would expect in a pale ale to still be able to taste the malt, for the malt still to have a present character. Um, so this is a pale ale, not an India pale ale. It is more moderately hopped. It is an ale made with pale malts. And so I would expect it to be uh, the maltiness to have more of a presence in the beer. And then for that really fresh, uh, fresh uh, herbaceousness of the hops to, to be very present in a way maybe brighter and fresher than you would find in a typical beer, uh, a non-fresh hopped beer. Anyways, enough talking. Let's, uh, let's drink this stuff. And yeah, that's what it is. So there is definitely a maltiness. Uh, it is... It's definitely playing second fiddle to the hops. The hops are the primary purpose here. Um, apples, a lot of apples, both at the outset, both both when you first take it in, it's like a like a red um, a red delicious, you know, kind of a uh, moderate uh, medium apple, um, something that has more of the softer character, less of the acidity, um, and then you have this definitely hoppy bitterness, and and then you're left with kind of this green apple freshness down as you swallow it. The malts are just kind of there holding things together 
And that's exactly where you'd want them to be here in a, in a beer that's all about celebrating the fresh hops. That's quite tasty. I like that quite a lot. I wouldn't say it is mind blowing, right? So if you pay attention to beer Instagram, the social media of beer hype, uh, there's a lot of hype around hops, especially this time of year. There's pictures of amazing fresh hops, people dancing in them, people pouring them over their heads. And you get the idea that this is supposed to be some revelatory experience and, and it's delicious and it is unique, but it tastes more like, this tastes more like a very nicely balanced pale ale with some extra freshness to it. It's just fresher, fresher tasting, fresher smelling, fresher feeling. Um, there is more fruitiness, more, um, more herbaceousness. The hops are definitely there and you can taste the traditional you know, the, the, the kind of dry bitterness going down your throat and, and such. But you also have this really, really nice herbal, like fresh herb um, note that's kind of, that's, that's running through it. And that's what I'm going to guess is the, the core, the whole point of a fresh hop beer. It is delicious. And uh, I should probably finish up this growler today because it'll be less delicious tomorrow. And, you know, because. Anyways, this has been Fremont Brewing's Field to Ferment Fresh Hop Pale Ale. I'm Matthew. I've been chewing the brew. I'll catch y'all on the flip side.